practice has officially begun for the Bulls, but they're doing a lot of the things they did this summer. Get ready to watch this team run up and down the court with quickness. That's what Orlando Antigua wants to see. Our big guys are I have surprises, one, because they don't have a sub. They don't get out of the, of the practice, and they're going for two hours, two and a half hours at times uh, constantly. So I've been impressed and, and happy with that regard. I'm really happy with the guard play. Uh, with Corey in terms of using his speed and being able to uh, utilize the spread court. AC is starting to get a good feel for it now as well. Um, so, you know, we'll continue to build and see how that goes. We're working on getting down the court real fast, spreading out, you know, offense, we want to spread their defense out and just attack, attack, attack. And on defense, we want to play a help side and, you know, contest every shot. The up-tempo, attacking style of offense has been successful for Orlando Antigua at all of his coaching stops, including the Dominican national team. So the Bulls will run. This young USF team has trained as hard as any USF basketball team ever has. Now, since practice has begun, they're starting to see the benefits. Oh, yeah. this whole this whole summer and you know everything is probably the most I've like ran condition wise and just everything and I'm feeling good. They see the investment that each of them have have made um, to themselves and into each other, and that tends to lend you a certain pride and a certain uh, swagger about that, knowing how hard you've worked and that you've invested time in your craft. Anthony Collins is healthy. He'll be teamed in the backcourt with Corey Allen Jr. There will be a lot of new faces as well as this team gets set for their debut in the Sundome November 8th in an exhibition game. For Bulls Cast, I'm Jim Lauk.